Hi, my name is April. Let's talk about books. Today I'm going to share my TBR for Victober, a month-long reading event in which the participants are encouraged to read books that were written during the Victorian era. Victober is hosted by Kate from Kate Howe, Katie from Books and Things, Lucy from Lucy the Reader, and Ange from Beyond the Pages, and I will link their channels below. There are five challenges to be completed during this month. The first of these is to read a book by a Scottish, Irish, or Welsh author, and I've chosen to read He That Will Not When He May by Margaret Oliphant. This is a book about a titled English family. A previously unknown member of the family shows up and takes their title and their wealth, so there's sure to be a lot of good family drama in this book. The second challenge is to read a book recommended to you, and I just had a YouTube recommendation. Kate Howe mentioned the book Agnes Gray by Anne Bronte on her channel, and this is a book about a governess and the family with which she works, and apparently it's based on Anne Bronte's experiences as a governess herself. The third challenge is to read a book with supernatural elements, and for this I've chosen actually the only physical copy of a book that I'll be reading, and that is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I went and checked this out of the school library this morning, and the librarian told me that it's going to be a very creepy read. I don't really like scary things, and I thought that something that was written during the Victorian era would be something that I could handle in terms of creepiness, so I hope it doesn't wind up being something that's going to keep me up at night. The fourth challenge is to read a lesser known Victorian novel. For this I've chosen The Odd Women by George Gissing and it has about 3300 ratings on Goodreads. This is about a time period within the Victorian era when there were about a million more women than men in England and single women were called odd women. This particular book is about four of those women who live and work in London and about their lives. The fifth challenge is to read a Victorian novel written by a woman, and for this I've chosen to read The Semi-Detached House by Emily Eden. This is about a newlywed woman who moves to the suburbs and according to the blurb finds intrigue and annoyance there. And this is a book that I'm looking forward to because I like small town novels, as I have mentioned in a previous video. Those are the books that I've chosen for Victober. If you've read any of those or if you want to, let me know in the comments below and we can talk about it. As always, goodbyes are awkward. So, end of video.